Alright everybody, what's going on? How you all doing? We are back with Mafia 2 on the PlayStation 3. Last time we left off, we got a call saying we got to go to Joe's. Like, right meow. So that's what we're going to do. We're, screw that cowboy stuff. Uh, I don't think we need a suit. Oh, well, we can do this one. Works for me. I'll go see Joe. But uh, thank you guys so much for the uh, all the love and support. I love you guys. It's been awesome. I've really been enjoying playing this game again after many, many years. It has been great. We got our own play. I want to say we're like in the last stretch-ish of the game. Oh, sorry, dude. It has been about a, I don't know, probably about a week since I played, since I recorded some of this game. I recorded a shit ton of it the last time. I recorded like four or five hours of it. I was just having a lot of fun. I didn't want to stop. But just thank you guys so much for the love and support. It, it's been awesome. You guys are amazing. The main reason I like to to make these videos is is yeah to help you guys decide you know what you want to spend your hard-earned money on because games are not cheap. Granted, Mafia 2 is uh, really cheap at this point, but I mean games in general are not very cheap and. The main part of it for me is, at least now, is just being able to play some of my favorite games for you guys and just have that experience with you and just share it with you. It's just a lot of, a lot of fun being able to play these games for you guys. I really like the way this car handles. I really do like this car. Wish it would turn a little bit better, but overall, not too bad. Makes me wonder why Joe never moved out of this apartment. I mean, he has got to be making around, if not more, than what I'm making. with a baseball bat and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with okay. You? You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so... Now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building. But everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If 
all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. At least Joe's plans are flashy. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Marty needs to calm down, man. Take my car. All right, what? I'll drive. Oh, I wanted to take my car. It's faster. Come on, Marty. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot. Use the back entrance. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? What do you mean? Yes, mother? it is the Indianapolis Speedway. I think I said that weird. Well, what the fuck are you doing? Nah, it wasn't that bad. It was than a broad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, Joe. It's alright. Car crashes and explosions go very well so together. Fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less what do you, you got, know, an aversion to red lights? Are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay! No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. Gotta watch out for them cops. So you're gonna blow the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. I'm not a big fan of Marty. He's kind of annoying. Yeah, he saved Joe, but... I mean, goddamn. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. Right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. God 
damn it, Marty. Just be quiet. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Alright, find a way to get in. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, can I help see Ting Lao? Well, where is he? He go on smoke break. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Is this him? I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was. All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Oh, yeah, sexy. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Got a mustache? Yeah, I got a mustache. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. We got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. There we go. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. They must be stupid, then. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. Dude, it better not be blood. That shit's hard to clean up. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span with that, and then get the fuck out of there. Please go away. I'm sorry. That was rude. You're darn right it was. These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. One of the guys who was, uh, here before, he, uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up, and you gotta make it snappy. These guys aren't very, like, secretive. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand. Perfect. 
Okay, the hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Fucks, hurry it up. Yeah, These guys should be maids, done. damn. All right, you can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Don't get recognized by his guys. That's Clemente. We could take him out right now. If we had a gun. Yeah, and we'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. Oh, hey, you left the door open for us. Thanks, bud. Damn. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why did I gotta put so many fucking stairs? You've only gone up two flights of stairs, man. What do you want me to carry you? Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified yeah, clip. did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you looking at? Ah, come down and give me a fucking smack. Clement, these guys. Fuck me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on. Check it out. <laughs> So, wait, what was my objective? Find the hotel's window washing platform. So, can we make some noise? Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Shit, did Joe do that? I didn't do that. Oh, headshot. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Okay, so how do we go up? Oh, yeah, that's the way over there. I think I see stairs. Oh, nice. Be careful. There might be more of them. If there is, we'll take care of them. Of course there's more. Oh, God. Aiming is so just odd in this game. Nice of you. Oh. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> 